It's November 4th, 2008. This is Mark Miller, founder and editor of EndUserSharePoint.com with today's tips for SharePoint end users. I viewed over 130 posts today and I think I found three good ones that might be useful for you. I'll take categories for 100, talking about categories in SharePoint blogs, the anatomy of SharePoint solutions with the blog, and then what is limited access anyway. Tony at Get the Point has set up a very nice article on how to set up categories in SharePoint blogs. Categories are used to help filter information in blogs so that people can chunk out information. So Tony does a nice walkthrough, shows you how to set up the categories, how to use the categories, not just in the blog itself, but if you want to insert a category when you're writing a blog using Microsoft Office 2007. So take a look at this if you are using blogs, set up your categories appropriately, and follow the instructions that she's got here. When you set up basic components within SharePoint, a lot of the stuff is just too simple to use for a production environment. What Daniel shows here is how you can use the community kit to expand not just the functionality of the blog, but the way that it looks and feels as people are using it. You can see this is a lot different than what you'll see normally. He's using the community kit nice interface laid out in here he goes through the various components that he's implemented within the blog itself using the community kit so take a look at this see if it's going to help you as you try to convince your users that a blog is worth doing in SharePoint and kind of spiff it up using the community kit Paul Galvin tracked on a post by Tyler Butler that talks about the definition of what limited access means. When you look at the permission levels and you see how people have specific access to areas on your site, you might see something called limited access. This is a very nice definition. Also, Desi Lunsford, who writes the calculated column for EndUserSharePoint.com, commented on Paul's blog, and Paul actually has a comment to please look and see what Desi has to say. So in general what you want to do first is go and read Tyler's explanation of the limited access definition and then come and read Desi's reply so that you can get some kind of idea of what it means at a permission level to have limited access. I hope you'll find those links useful. Don't forget that we do have an upcoming online workshop on how to create a SharePoint master calendar. You can find the agenda for that workshop by clicking on the next online workshop link at the top of the page. You can also view a demo of the workshop right now by choosing create a master calendar in SharePoint link at the top of the page. This is Mark Miller, founder and editor of EndUserSharePoint.com. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.